Hello friends, uh, welcome again. And this is my new project, uh, the retail store billing system. And I have developed this project in C Sharp and the database I'm using the MySQL. The version for the MySQL I'm using 5.6 and uh, I'm running this project on Visual Studio 2019. For connecting MySQL with uh, C Sharp, I'm using the MySQL connector, which you will get easily from the mysql.org website. Also, this is a Windows application form means i have not used any type of gsp tags and application uh, inside the project right so it's a pure windows form application right so let's just start with the functionality go through that what we have developed inside this project right so uh, this is a mini project right because it has only an only admin login and the main objective of developing this project is to manage the retail shop billing applications right so let's just start so for running this project you need to open the project to the visual history 2019 and after that hit the start button once you click on the start button then you will get the login form right this login form is dynamic and the credentials are getting verified from the mysql database right <laughs> so for mysql you can use the jam server right and you can import the sql file which we have provided to you and after that you can easily uh, you can say uh, log inside the system uh, uh, and the details are uh, we are using the users table for login right so the user id is admin and the password is test right so once you log inside the system it will show you the splash form this is a splash form it's a loading the application right and once it loads you will get the mdi form where you will get a lot of menu options there right so this is the mdi form you can see these operations we can perform inside this project right the first one is let me go through one by one so this is the product management from where you can add any number of products right so retail is if there is a retail store there will be a lot of product options right then you can add all of the product options here right so you can add it update it delete or find it so if you want to update it just click double click on the uh, record and after that once the uh, records comes here you can uh, modify the records and after that you can update it right so it will be updated into the database so this all records are coming from the database if you want to search anything just click on the find and after that search for the product id right once you click on the search then that product ID information will be displayed here and once once you click on that uh, item then the form will be filled up uh, with the product information site right? and if you want to delete the record just click on the delete and after that that product will be deleted from the database even you will not be able to get the products here in the list right because it's running it's loading uh, on run time right so this is the products this is a start sales uh, i think there is some issue uh, wait yeah so i am fixing it on run time right so i am continuing it okay so this is the so i fix that right so this is the customer name so here you need to enter the customer name and the mobile number of the customer so i am entering the customer name at all and the mobile number you can enter anything right and once you click on the start order then it will load all of the details right so this is the product drop down from where you can choose the product and the quantity so these all things are dynamic right so suppose if you want to add the 50 50 biscuit then just quantity two then you can see here the order item id is 11 and the product name is 50 50 the order price is five quantity two to total 10 right the all things will be dynamically calculated suppose i am buying three horlicks then you can see the items are getting calculated automatically right suppose if you want to delete this item just double click on that and it's asking are you do want are you sure to delete this item if you click on the a yes then that item will be deleted from the cart right and if you add any other items then you can add it from here right so you can see the items are getting added here right so once you complete the things jo, so one more thing i want to show you the order id and date is uh, filling automatically after creating the order right once you click on the save order then it will ask that what type of payment type you are taking so credit card debit card cash right and description you can uh, add your description here right 
and confirm once you click on the confirm then all of the details will be saved into the database and you can access this letter also in the report section so this is the report section right the first one is a product report you can see all of the product report which you have added so this all product reports are coming from the database right and if you want to see the sales report all of the sales you can see this is a sales report and the last order id is seven and you can see uh, the sales report here right so this is a sales report right this is a change password if you want to update your account password then you can enter your old password new password and confirm password after that you can change your account password this is a about project this is a static page and if you want to change the information see if you want to add your name then you can add your name here right so the last one is the exit button once you click on the exit then the application will be closed right and if you want to rerun the application just click on the start button and after that you can rerun the application right so these all these all functionalities i have developed inside this project uh, which i have developed in c sharp windows application and database i'm using the mysql so this is a mini dbms project because we are performing the database operations here right so if you need more functionality in this project just put it into the comment i will incorporate those changes i will make this project more better and better according to requirements and don't forget to subscribe our channel for getting the latest projects videos on the latest technologies thanks for watching the video thank you very much